chest and shoulders. Let's get it. All right, guys. So I start off with the flat bench because the pec contraction I get flat pressing is so good. And my main belief on flat pressing is that I want to hit 225 first flat pressing before I start incline pressing because I mean everyone every like real lifter like that lifts hard and has an insane physique can bench 225 so my philosophy is that I need to bench 225 and it has to be easy till before I start incline pressing so here I'm benching I believe it's 193 pounds I forgot something around there I know it's 87 kilos and ancestors lend me your strength lend me your power once more give me the test of a hundred men Ten men with the height of one man, the width of four. Bro, I was kind of pissed off here because my last session, my last benching session, I hit this weight for seven reps, and today I only hit it for five. So I was like, "What the fuck?" But I think it's because I didn't get a lift off and I didn't have a spotter. Because usually when you have a spotter, you get a little bit more confident and you don't have to waste that energy on the lift off. Because that lift off is basically hitting one rep. So you you basically lose one rep if you're just lifting it off by yourself. Alright guys, second set. So today I only hit... So usually when I bench... If the first set is good, if I get eight reps or more, I do two sets with the same weight and then I drop it down. But today I only hit five, so I immediately dropped it down and just did two more sets with this weight with the, just a 25 on the side. And this is light work. I hit like eight reps. And it's not light work, but it's not like I'm not scared of this weight. Usually on the top set, I'm kind of scared of the weight, like, I'm like, oh, shit, this shit is heavy. But, like, this is just, like, getting a pump. It's still hard, like, eight reps is still, like, low and heavy. But it's not scary, you know what I mean? And here, I believe a dude comes and saves me. Yeah, he tried to come and save me, but I had it. It's not that heavy. I can't control his weight, but I appreciated that. And this is the last set on the bench. Just three sets, but they have to be three hard sets if you're doing three sets like above 12 reps i mean it's still good if you're going to failure but if you're getting more than 12 reps it's probably not that heavy enough or i mean it still can be heavy enough but you have to get you have to reach failure and you have to like train hard you know what i mean but like i always try to preach to progress in weight especially if you're natural because that's how, that's how you actually build muscle, like progressing in weight and, and like increasing it. And you can also increase reps, but it goes in both ways. You know what I mean? You increase reps. Once you hit a number, once you hit a certain number of reps, you increase the weight. And that's how you build muscle as a natural. And yeah, this is the last set. I try to go for last set. I got eight reps. So this one, I try to go for seven at least. But I managed to get six, but still, it was an effective set. Still failure hard. And it will improve the strength of the lift. I'm trying to get stronger on the, on the bench, so it's good. It's good. <laughs> All right, after benching, I hit some heavy shoulder press. And guys, a lot of people don't shoulder press because they believe, oh, the shoulder press is front delt. And I already hit front delt while I'm bench pressing or hitting chest or whatever but bro when you're shoulder pressing you're actually using your whole shoulder maybe not your rear delt but you're using your front delt and a little bit of your side delt and a little bit of your rear delt and it's just a great overall exercise for hypertrophy I mean 
a lot like it's a basic movement everybody should get strong at it and it's very simple to get strong at it you're pressing 70s for i believe i did six flips or seven i don't know but yeah dude shoulder press it'll blow up your shoulders after that set with the 70s to failure like i was dead but i was like you know what let me hear one more set with the 70s let me try and bro my shoulder fell off it tweaked or something and after that one rep i was like nah nah let me drop the weight let me go for some higher reps and yeah that's what he did so here i grabbed the 60s and i just went to failure with the 60s always to failure that it's working out so simple you just grab a heavy weight and just move it till you can't move it anymore it's simple guys you have to do this trust me but yeah and usually i don't hit shoulder press very hard i should want to go hard like i went really hard with the 70s but i'm already fatigued from the bench press right now i'm hitting chest against some cable flies and guys cable flies if you can do them seated always do them seated because the contraction you get on the chest is way more stable you don't have to like flex your core it's all chest you just chill there and and fly bro and just peck fly feel the peck and i went heavy for the first set because i always like going heavy on the first set because that's like heavy till failure bust out some partials because that's the that's the set that's building muscle the first set second set on the chest fly and cable fire whatever you're gonna call it but yeah basically drop the weight just one pin because the first set i only got like seven or six reps and this is basically a a movement that just wants to get blood in the muscle because you already fatigued the chest with the heavy bench press now you just want to get blood in there get a juicy pump but still go hard still go to failure because you can still build muscle on this movement because it's a different movement Alright guys, pro tip. So basically a lot of people say this and I think it's true too, but they say that when you hit chest, try to always hit upper chest because that's like the that's like the muscle that makes your like chest look aesthetic. But I like flat pressing because I just want to hit 225, but yeah, I already talked about that. But yeah, when you're doing a cable fight, you can actually set it up so you hit your upper chest. And the way you do that is how I'm doing it on the video you put the cables a little bit below you and you want to press up don't press like upside down I see a lot of people pressing upside down that's just stupid alright guys if you guys cannot already tell what I do for chest and shoulders is very simple I just start with a chest exercise then I move on to shoulders go back to chest and then back to shoulders very simple just two exercises that's all you need really and of course if for shoulders you have to hit rear delts but i hit rear delts on my pole day and sorry here for the footage it's a little bit low quality because i just i assumed it i assumed it in a little bit but yeah so basically i had to stand a little bit far behind because all the mirrors were being used and i had to share the mirror with this dude but he was being nice he was like letting me hit my set like while he rested and shit i guess i guess he was resting i don't know but yeah he was nice but yeah, lateral raise is very simple. Alright guys, pay attention to this. If you want to build your shoulders, you have to listen to this pro tip. So basically what I do here, I just finished three sets, right? With the 25s, the three sets with the 25s. And after you finish a third set with the 25s, you do a mega drop set. So basically, here I got the 20s. Do another set with the 20 till failure. Everything till failure. When you work out, you want to do everything till failure. If not reaching failure, you're not uh, working hard. And a lot of people say, oh, don't go to failure because it will fatigue you or, or whatever. Don't listen to those people, bro. Don't listen to them because I've never, like, been fit, like, very fatigued. Like, oh, bro, I'm so dead. Like, no, bro. Like, and they train to failure. I like I do get fatigued, but I'm not like in pain, you know what I mean? But yeah, I might need to try to I might need to try doing shit not to failure and see what happens, see the results, cause like hey, you never know and you never truly know something until you try it. 
but yeah, he, here I think I did the seven with the twenties. Now I grab the fifteens. The failure partials, yo, partials are so underrated with lateral races. Like, if you're not doing partials at the end of your lateral race set, you're missing out, bro. Like, you get a nice squeeze, you just do this. And if you have, like, I, f I found this hack with the lateral races. When you build up your lats, you can, like, flex your lats and then do the lateral race from there. And it has, it, it's very comfortable. You just, like, and you look, you look sick while you're doing it. You look like a mass monster. And here I'm going over to grab the fives and fives really like yeah bro fives because like at this point your shoulders are destroyed and like the fives will still feel like hard it'll still feel like uh, you'll get an insane contraction with the fives also like really good trust me like if you can't the best way to get blood to get a pump is doing a lot of reps with lightweight and I know I preach doing heavy shit but lightweight shit is very good all right so I finished off the lift with triceps and I always do triceps on my chest and shoulders day because it's a push day but I titled the video chest and shoulders because I feel like it's way simpler and it sounds better not chest shoulders and triceps or just push day no it sounds better chest and shoulders but yeah, for triceps, you just want to get a push down and a movement where you have your your arm like behind your head or, or over your head and push from there. Because your tricep is not fully extended or contracted while you're doing push downs. So you have to like put something overhead. And this dude tried to help me on the form here, but I actually like doing it like that, extending it like all the way down. Yeah, but basically what he was telling me is like, to not like extend it all the way down and to keep my shoulders like kind of tucked in but yeah it was pretty nice i appreciate the advice but uh hey maybe next time i'll try to do like he says you never know maybe it's better oh and guys next video i promise there will be a pose zone i just couldn't do it this video but next video there will be a pose zone a, a pump check or whatever you're gonna call it but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. See you guys on my next video. Peace out, boys.